So Chrome Hearts, I just got a notification on my phone for a customized 1955 GMC pickup truck, Chrome Hearts Customized, that has gone on sale on Grailed for a million dollars. When I saw the notification, of course I clicked on it, I read into it a little bit, and I think Chrome Hearts is a fascinating brand and a fascinating case study for a company like them. So I think there's a few key things that make Chrome Hearts so desirable to consumers and allows them to have the status that they have today. First and foremost, I think, is this mysterious mystique, that doesn't make sense, mystique around them that they have because they don't do a lot of marketing, they don't take a ton of customer requests, and they're sort of just shown through the people that purchase their stuff, the celebrities that wear their stuff and the pieces that pop up. There's not a bunch of media around them. You can look up on YouTube, maybe there's a few videos that dive into sort of their background a little bit. And even the owners, co-founders of the companies, they're not huge in making their themselves public. I think this is desirable to consumers. It's like the, um, it reminds me of like Playboy Cardi, right? You have a, a figure that people are very curious about, people are fans of, but they don't do, they're not on social media, they're not doing a bunch of interviews, they're not putting their self out there. So when they do put things out and when they do post images, it, it builds up like this cult following around that figure because people are so intrigued by them. And I think that same thing is going on with Chrome Hearts and they've done a very good job at creating that and crafting that throughout the history of the company. Another thing that you can't go without touching on is quality. Quality is important, bro. You're not gonna get um, this huge cult following and this everlasting sort of cultural sensation with a company if you're not making quality products. I think there's been one case study that comes to mind that this that throws this idea out the window and that's Pyrex. They were taking you know cheap ass flannels, screen printing on them, selling them for a thousand percent markups or whatever, and people were desiring them. And I think that a lot of times that's not what happens. Frankly, you have to be selling quality products, which Chrome Heart sources, the best leathers for their products, the best sterling, they're using sterling silver, their handcrafted items. And I think that makes their items even more desirable to people. They're not mass produced. There's not a ton of them out there. They're limited quality. And the quality is, it's craftsmanship quality. I just said quality like seven times, but you get the gist. That's important. Can't go without being said. A couple other things, obviously the status of it, right? So you see celebrities wearing these types of things. And so that's what jacks the prices up because you know, if you buy something, you're sort of in that community to where if somebody sees you with the Chrome Hearts that doesn't know anything about Chrome Hearts, they don't care at all. But if somebody sees it that knows about the brand, that's sort of influenced by the, the brand and influenced by culture as that we live in right now, then it's like that if you know, you know type of thing, right? And so I think that status symbol, that desiring to be a part of that class is something that plays into the mystique and the popularity of this brand as well. As well as they have a little bit of like a rebellious aesthetic to them, right? They, they It feels very biker. It feels very rebellious. Their, their aesthetic, their designs, the type of stuff that they're producing. They're producing motorcycle jackets. They're producing with heavy leather stuff. They're producing accessories, very thick silver jewelry, very big, hefty rings. And a lot of these things connect with like a more rebellious culture like bikers. Bikers are a very rebellious culture. So I think that also plays a part in it because People like to be rebellious. People like to see them see the rebellious side inside themselves. And um, they enjoy that. And, and buying into Chrome Hearts, you can sort of live vicariously through the brand, through the items that you own, even if you're not the super rebellious person in general, right? I mean, because most people aren't. Hey, yo, real quick, chill out, scroll down a little bit, subscribe to the channel. So those are the important things that I think create the Chrome Hearts equation of why they are so popular, why they become so popular. Now I want to get into this truck. This truck is crazy. I mean, so I did a little bit of digging. It was customized in 2001. It's likely for um, Richard Stark, who is one of the co-founders of Chrome Hearts, as it has the name Richie on one of the uh, visor panels that pops down. I think we d haven't seen a ton of Chrome Hearts customized items to this extent besides the Maybach with Drake. And I think what makes this one so interesting is 
A Maybach is a more luxurious item. It's very high class, it's foreign, right? So it has that type of feel to it. So it's different when you customize a Maybach type vehicle as opposed to customizing a very American, um, aesthetically pleasing 1955 GMC, that's a company that has their roots in American culture and American manufacturing. It feels, it feels more authentic to what the brand is trying to do as opposed to just Drake having connections and getting Chrome Hearts customi to customize his Maybach. And so that's what I think is so appealing to this truck specifically. So as I mentioned, 1955 GMC 100, customized with a bunch of different Chrome Hearts, hits branded elements here and there. It's, it's black and silver, so it's already in that sort of aesthetic on the outside. There's not a lot going on on the outside from the looks of it. It's more so the interior that has been pretty much fully customized. So the truck features a tufted leather bench seat with a bunch of little chrome heart buttons, as well as a huge cross on it that's visible from outside of the truck so somebody can look in and see oh shit that's the chrome hearts gmc dog that's a status symbol if it's parked which it probably won't be parked anywhere outside in a parking lot let's be honest you have these leather rucksacks sort of gunslinger rucksacks on the back of the seat when you fold the seat down and they're equipped with sterling silver buckles of course sterling silver that's chrome hearts language that's chrome hearts territory that's chrome hearts material that they're most well known for so you're seeing a lot of different hits of silver throughout this vehicle you then have different sterling silver elements capping the vehicles lever controls and different dashboard knobs and buttons this sort of emblematic Chrome Hearts logo. Um, I don't know exactly what you call it, but it's like the cross that's very stylistic cross that you see on a lot of their rings and things like that. It's that same stuff that's going on, which is a cool little feature, just little things. And then as mentioned, the custom leather sun visors, which carry original owner's nickname, which is Richie, which I believe is probably Richard Stark, as mentioned before. And then sterling silver crosses on either side, sort of similar to the big cross that is most emblematic on the seat in the middle. And then on the other, you have Chrome Hearts signature, and this is literally what Grail says, signature fuck you in old English text, flanked by leather crosses again. So um, very rebellious, right? It's got that culture of rebellion that we all connect to. You also have some very interesting custom Chrome Hearts pink dice to add a little flavor to the inside of this truck. I mean, that's that, man. The truck. Is, it's cool, it's crazy, it's interesting that it's going on to the secondary market at this time and that we all get to see it. Um, I think it's very cool that it's getting the media exposure and that's being sold on Grailed. I said sell it, it's being sold on Grailed, um, which is huge in streetwear, luxury fashion, that sort of, it's like the emblematic platform for where you'd wanna bring something like this to auction. But a lot of people probably can't afford it on this website, but you know what I mean? There's, it's, it's, it connects well into culture. You have a Chrome Hearts truck and you have Grail, two big things in the culture right now. You bring them together to put this item out and let people see it for themselves, images, detailed images, and let people just take a look at it and appreciate the quality and the craftsmanship in this item that is so dope. I mean, it's so cool. So that's that. I th that's This is a Chrome Hearts video. If you're a fan of the brand, as I am, this isn't a deep dive on them. This is more so my thoughts and feelings that floated around about what makes this company so interesting, what makes this brand so interesting and intriguing to consumers. So let me know what your thoughts are about Chrome Hearts. Do you think it's overpriced? It's whack? It's dead is it you know is it trendy is it around to stay i'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are down below as well as your thoughts on the truck itself as i mentioned i think it's dope and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it that's all i got for y'all today i'll see y'all again soon peace